Welcome to Vindal's Concept. Today, you are going to solve this question. A crowbar was used to lift a 300 kg. What force must be applied to one end of the crowbar to place under this umbrella and da da da? So, we are going to solve it now. I was able to make this diagram to illustrate the question. You can see the force, you can see the, the fulcrum, you can see the total length, 2 meter of this fulcrum of the crowbar, pardon me. Then I made it to be like this, uh, like a moment of forces, which you are solving, 0 0.5 meter from, okay, let's zoom it up so that we see it very well. From moment of forces. When I'm going to treat this one separately, it's going to be different. But then, moment of forces, we have a very, very wonderful rule which we use. And we say that uh, clockwise moment, clockwise, clockwise moment about a point, clockwise moment about a point. Pardon, let's see it about a point is equal to anticlockwise moment. Anticlockwise moment about the same point. About the same point. Okay, let's go back to the diagram to locate those points. Look at the middle where the knife edge is, is our point Q and the same thing crowbar where our knife edge is, is that point. So the, the fulcrum, the crowbar is going to rotate about that point Q and that is the main thing. I am going to treat this course as a normal concept but for that let's look at moment is force multiplied by perpendicular distance from the turning point to the line of action talking about moment of a force so we have to find what is the force and what is the perpendicular distance from the diagram so we'll be able to solve this question now we have the force. I am not using it. I don't want to convert it, but I'm using this force as just load. Uh, pardon me to do that. I choose to do that. 300 multiplied by 0 0.5. Now, see, this is the distance, and this is the line of action. Yes. This is also the distance, and this is the line of action. So, 300 multiplied by 0 0.5 is the clockwise moment. Whether clockwise moment or anti-clockwise moment, any one I choose. Look at this. Maybe clockwise, and this one is uh, anti-clockwise. Whichever way, I can choose any of them, provided I am obeying the fact that force multiplied by perpendicular distance at about a point. That is the only thing I need to do in order to get my solution done. From the force and the perpendicular distance please then we have force multiplied by 1.5 oh we have to make force the subject formula we cancel our 1.5 and divide it by, by the both sides so when we do our normal calculation 300 multiplied by 0 0.5 is going to give us 150 and 150 divided by 1.5 we are going to be having uh, one, I think, 100, 100 kilogram. If I want to convert it to force, which it is, I will multiply it by 10. Remember the formula, which says that weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. And if I do that, I'm going to have 1,000 Newton as my force. 
And that is the answer to this problem. Thank you. Okay, let's go through a quick revision. The 0 0.5 you are seeing there is what the question already said. They said the 0 0.5 from the load is where the slump is. And then if 0 0.5 is there, then the remaining will be 1.5 to make a total of 2 meters, which is the length of the crowbar. Yes, as you have seen, and there is a level ground there. This is a level ground. Then 0 0.5, as I'm telling you, then 1.5 will be the, the remaining length from the point Q to where I wrote force will be 1.5. Then from the ground to the Q is 0 0.5. So that is the, the length, which is 0 0.5. I am showing you here 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That is then the, the, the rest will be 1.5, which will now complete a total of 2 meter, which is the length of the crowbar. And then if you do that, you have really... Uh, uh, remember my 0 0.5 didn't... was supposed to be smaller than 1.5, but I said I did not draw it to scale so that it can be well understood. Okay, let me just clean this part. Let me re clean that. That thing is five. It's not really looking like five. Because this question, you have to understand the working principle of a crowbar with respect to a lever. This is the lever. Then if you do that, then I'm, I'm bringing the, the first diagram to make it look like this in order to get the answer and that was how